I want this to be a dress that you could see it running through a forest, but you could also see it on a red carpet, you know? So it seems that I've been rather foolish for some time Trying to chase the love, the dreams should live behind and I like to make things and this time I made a flower dress inspired by Taylor Swift's Grammy dress. The concept for this is basically Taylor Swift's dress but maybe making it longer, a little more elegant styling rather than like a party vibe, very whimsical fairy springtime kind of energy. It's just a chill project, fun times, no 2,000 pennies, no buckets of silicone, we're just making a dress out of fabric. Um, Spoiler alert, I have no chill and this turned into two months of hand sewing, but that's for later. For now, let's start making it. So I'm headed to the LA Fashion District to pick up some fabric. I'm trying to find like a fabric with embroidered flowers so I don't have to embroider my own. I'm going for a really floral look, so I'm gonna see if I can get a floral netting with like embroidery on it. I found this fabric and it is absolutely perfect. It is just like hers and it's trailing and embroidered and it even has these little like stick up parts of like the partially embroidered parts that hers has. Oh, I could not have found a more perfect fabric. I got five and a half yards of it. I also got some lining fabric and I think it looks really, really nice as like an underlayer if I don't want it to be sheer. I didn't really go into this with a specific design. I just wanted to be something inspired by Taylor Swift's dress, not like an exact recreation of it. Before I even start actually making my dress, I'm gonna play around with the fabric on the dress form to kind of test out a couple designs. So option one is like a floor length dress that's very long and it has very flowy vibes. This was the original thought I was going for. Let's try something different though. I wanted something long and whimsical, but I also really liked the look of like a tight mermaid flare where it would just flare out with a bunch of flowers at the bottom. I put it up for a poll and folks voted that they also liked the mermaid flare of flowers. So that's what I was gonna try and make. But I actually made a dress like this a couple years ago and I used this pattern to do it. So yeah, I'm just gonna start draping a longer version out of muslin just to get the shape down. I thought I'd follow this pattern more directly, but I ended up just using it as a rough base and then winging it because this was just a very no brain, just vibes project. Okay, so this is the drape I made. The big thing I kind of focused on was the shape of it. I wanted it to have like a flare shape. I'm gonna go and sew it up. So now that we have our mock-up done, we have our pattern, we can just go and take that pattern, cut it up, and put it in our real fabric. Once I had my pieces cut, it was time to put the puzzle pieces together onto the dress. In order to overlap the flowers and disguise the seams at the sides, I actually had to go through and hand sew all the edges. And I didn't know at this point, but this was the beginning of this turning from a chill vibes project to a hand sewing for hours on end project. Oh, did we hand sew? After a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hand sewing, like days of this, it's done. Well, like the dress isn't done, but the skirt is. Hand sewing took absolutely forever, but the reason I really wanted to do it was because now the seams are just about invisible. You can't really see where the panels are and it just makes the whole skirt flow very naturally, but Wow, that honestly took like forever. But before we get too deep into this project, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, ThreadUp. If you've been on this channel for any amount of time, you've heard me talk about ThreadUp and you've most definitely at least seen me wear their clothes because guess what? I'm wearing them now. A lot of the clothes I wear when filming and going to events are from ThreadUp. ThreadUp is basically an online thrift store. I like it because it makes thrifting super easy. You don't have to sort through racks of clothes. On ThreadUp, you can filter by specific brands and sizes and even search for specific clothing pieces that you want. And not only is it a more affordable way to get good brands, but it's also more sustainable. You're keeping secondhand clothes out of landfills rather than buying new things. So it's better for the environment overall. But with all that said, here's what I bought from ThreadUp for fall and how I styled them. First up, I got this Daisy Street top. It's estimated retail is $81. I paid $17.50. I went a little funky with the styling for this one and I paired it with my favorite big pants and this bucket hat for this fun, funky, casual look. Next up, I got this Marciano cocktail dress. I've gotten a couple of these cocktail dresses from ThreadUp and they are always so good. The estimated retail for this one is $223. I paid $48 and I paired it with some nice heels and earrings for this perfect fancy dinner look, all for under $50. 
$50. I also got this pink Faro cardigan. It's estimated retail is $80. I paid $9.20. And of course, I styled it in a pink look. For this look, I fully leaned into the winter Hallmark movie vibes, and I just love it. And lastly, the number one thing I wear during fall is sweaters. So I picked up a bunch of sweaters. I got this Abercrombie and Finch turtleneck. It's estimated retail is $51. I paid $18.99. I also got this Faro sweater for about $16. It's estimated retail is $64. And I tend to just wear my sweaters with black leggings and a bit of jewelry for this cozy look, but sometimes if I want something a little spiffier, I'll pair them with a collared shirt under and pant, like I did with these other two sweaters that I got. So if you're interested in an environmentally friendly and affordable way to update your closet, check out ThreadUp. You can use this link in the description below as well. They gave me a code, so you can use code CRESCENT30 for 30% off and free shipping on your first order. It's pretty good. But thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video and for just being a cool service that I can use. But with all that said, let's get back to this flower dress. Hello and welcome back to the floor. Skirt's pretty much done, so I think next up is the top. I put a couple top options on my Instagram and everyone voted to make an invisible style top where it would look like the appliques are just kind of sitting delicately on your skin. Since I wanted this invisible top to be very natural and flow with the dress, I just started by draping flowers. I took little bits of the applique and then I just placed it all the way up to kind of create this continuing train of flowers. This is what we got so far. It took me a couple tries but I ended up getting like a top that I liked. I think it really like flows you know, from like the bottom to the top. But I think this looks really good, like way better than I expected good. <laughs> okay, I love it. Now that I found a design I like, we just get to hand sew it for the next 40 hours. It's gonna be a long time. <laughs> so, montage. context of how long I was sewing, I watched all four seasons of The Good Place and a season of Dimension 20. I think the final hour count was maybe 60 to 70 hours. It was a lot of hand sewing. So the dress is pretty much done. I tried it on with the leotard, but it's a little bit scandalous. This side matches my skin tone pretty well. Basically, I'm just making a lining layer. So I'm cutting the same exact skirt pattern out of the applique. I'm sewing it all together pretty much the same just so I have an under layer so it's not just a see-through dress. For the top bit, I actually really liked how much the leotard covered and supported, so I decided to just cover it in my satin fabric and use it as a base. Sometimes it's worth it to sew an entire bustier from scratch, and sometimes you just cover a leotard in satin, and both are good options. Okay, so I did it! It's not perfect, but this is the under layer. It works enough for this. Now that I've got this lovely little satin dress that I can wear under it, it's just a matter of connecting the two, putting the flower dress on top of my base dress, and then it's done! As a last touch, it felt like it was missing some sort of sleeves, so I added a ring of embroidered flowers around the shoulders just to act as a little off-the-shoulder sleeve. And with that, the dress was done! I got ready, I got into some makeup, and we did a little photo shoot. So without further ado, here is my final flower dress. So it seems that I've been rather foolish for some time Trying to chase a life, the dreams should sure left behind You told me you go on a sea, play the Malija in the end You never know until you've seen it up and how it came out. There's nothing really show-stopping about it. It's not pennies or silicone, but it's very pretty and it's nice and it makes me feel good wearing it. I don't know, I think it came out just a little bit magical with all the flowers surrounding it. It feels very springtime woodland fairy and that's exactly the vibe I was going for. I wasn't rushing the hand sewing at all with this dress, so it took about a month, month and a half to make. And if I had known that going into it, I probably wouldn't have done this project because I was looking for a chill project but no regrets. And I also really like it as an interpretation of Taylor's dress. I think you can really see the inspiration, but it still is its own individual design. 
But that's it for this video. I know it's a bit of a shorter one. Again, thank you so much Setup for sponsoring this video. You can check out their clothes here. Also, you can use code CRESCENT30 for 30% off plus free shipping for your first order. So check them out. If you want to keep up more with me, I launched my Patreon. Check there for more behind the scenes, tutorials. Check Instagram for live updates. And stay subscribed on YouTube if you want to go and see more of these videos. Um, that's about everything. It was lovely talking with you, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye!